alaala. Go. There we go. Better. Full frog detection experience. Indeed. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I, I have a special guest with me here today. It is my girlfriend. Hi, I am girlfriend. Hello. <laughs> uh, she was here when we played uh, the last frog detective games. And the first frog detective, too. Yes, the first one. The first two. Uh, and since the third one finally came out, we decided... Time to, time to, I invited her over here to play it some more. Yes. That'll be fun. Excited. We'll do voices. We will do voices. It'll be very exciting if you... Oh, hey, Erica. Hi! Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? And hi, Andrew. Oh, we, we have a big crowd today. People love people love the frog detective. People love the frog detective. He's look at, I mean, look, how can you say no to that? I mean, you could probably say no to this Lobster face if you, if you wanted to, <laughs> a cab and all, but I can say no to this face. Look at him. Beautiful. Perfect. So we, we have not played this game. We have not. We do, oh, we, you know, there's, there's detecting, there's frog, lobster cop is here in some capacity, uh, cowboy county. Well, that, that is the extent of what we know about it. What are your predictions for, Lob for sorry, Frog Detective 3? Uh, I think we're either going to find out that Lobster Cop is uh, is trash, or this is all a big misunderstanding. Look at him! He's a star! How can he be <laughs> trash? I didn't realize there's a little hat, a little lobster antenna coming out. That's a lot. This is a whole mood. I love this. Uh, who, who knows what he's up to, right? Could be, could be anything. Does could he have hands? Oh, little pincers. Little claw, little oh, claw pincers. I don't trust that for any of us. <laughs> Alright. Shall I begin? Shh, let's. Let's. Shall we? Yes. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Ah, already came with the material. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I do. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After the detective, that's you, saw the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. I forgot about I forgot about Yes. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. I'll be exactly what had happened. Oh boy. Oh boy, Mary. <laughs> you got your notebook. My notebook you is made got all the stickers on it. Your stickums. Oh. Look, it's all our past glories. It's a lot. <laughs> detective? Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, Frog Detective. Hey, Gorgeous! You're the supervisor! Hey, Gorgeous! I'm the supervisor! <laughs> I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially! <laughs> oh, my gosh. oh my gosh, I know! It's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts! Yes, exactly! Like a manager, almost! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Haha, <laughs> yes, haha, <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor! <laughs> okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you over the phone. Ah, oh, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and I'll take you on a little trip. Cute. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. <laughs> All right. 
So we got our magnifying glass. Okay, that's good. Sick, now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. <laughs> <laughs> you got your magnifying glass. Now I can investigate things. party on the beach. That was really yeah. fun, actually. That was very fun. <laughs> okay, so the detective heads to the train station, and it's all so cool. Like, there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. <gasps> so messed up. Actually, tears in my eyes. Seriously. Seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. Gasp! <laughs> so, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, I know the case. A plus out of 10. A plus out of 10. A plus out of 10. Oh, great. It is if you believe it is. Okay. Be like the orcs and Warhammer. If they believe it to be true, it will be. Listen. This little snake! New boots. New boots. New me. <laughs> new boots, new me. Alright. Oh. Oh. Well. No return to ticket. I guess not. I guess not. Is the phone ringing? Why is there a phone? Oh, oh, there's a phone box. Cacti, cacti. Cacti. Ooh, nice color scheme, actually. I know, right? Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you, why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. <laughs> you don't think it's a little weird? Uh, not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. <laughs> now who's the weird one? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible strangers to listen on phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. <laughs> Is, is this his cousin? <laughs> is that his cousin? <laughs> he has a blog team of respect! Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Mm hmm? As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is a vast, is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Whizbay to help you get around. Oh. Oh, is it a horse? What? No! <laughs> Why would you say that? The ellipses. It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Poor some value member of society. <laughs> <laughs> it would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order then? A scooter, of course. Sick. It should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. I'm still questioning my choices. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, truly is. I want a screen cap. Right? Yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway. anyway. Oh, sorry. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and we're waiting for you in the, at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun, too. I will. Ellipses. All right, see ya. <coughs> My very own scooter. Sick. Got a scooter. Ooh. Left shift. Ooh. 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 This is really 
Wow. Oh, I got some air! <laughs> it's... Uh, game of the year. Game of the year. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Detective fourth build in his own game. <laughs> no respect. Plus well, a special guest. You're a special guest oh too. Oh my god! As a special guest in the stream and in the game. I don't know Andrew. I guess we'll find out. Grayson Thomas, you make a good game. Ooh, he's dead down. Yeah. Do you want to be Lobster Cop or the detective? I'll be Lobster Cop. Okay. Hey, Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, Detective. I know worldwide, I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent to here to solve a crime of a conundrum of the Sheriff Lewis County. Ooh. This time was a thriving detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, and community, and cowboys. Cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff? Uh, yeah, the, I was kind of leading up to that. He sucks. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please interrupt? <laughs> You're ruining my slow fry, detective. I sincerely apologize. The, yeah. So anyway, I have lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there is something missing. Hey, let's see. A sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the super brother, and he contacted me. Oh boy. And me. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, uh, there are two of us to facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. Read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. <laughs> Did he really think I need your help? Oh! Shots fired. Shots fired. In my direction. In your direction. No. Me neither. <laughs> And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. <laughs> Burr? The position's already been filled. Oh? I'm the perfect boy for the job. <laughs> Who's the boy him? No, he can't, can't be. Presenting! The new Sheriff of Cowboy County! <laughs> Sheriff Mason Mole! Hello! Wow! Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop! Thank you! Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No! No. <laughs> hmm? No. You do what you want to do? No, you cannot. <laughs> it's okay! Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. <laughs> Crime mystery. <laughs> Please solve this. What's the mystery? 
All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. <laughs> Get to work, please. <laughs> Yeah, heard you heard the sheriff. Ellipses. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. <laughs> and here's your notebook. I'm sorry. Here, notebook. <laughs> Somebody mailed it to you. Got a notebook. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. <laughs> Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. <laughs> Goodbye. Haha, <laughs> 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 what a legend! <laughs> you know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? And don't worry about it. <laughs> Not a detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It was a sale for something to make. Right, of course. So, all these guys saying leads but I use your assistant. Sure. What do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crimes and the method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, the key that could lead us to a clue, and the last one to mention most importantly, a meal from the number one best detective. A meal? Yes, detective. Keep up. I am a very hungry boy, and I will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for an afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to remind, if you need to be reminded of what I want, come to see me in the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cap. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. Silence. Typical management. Hello, oh, Mr. Notebook. Case 3, Mystery of the Missing Hats. Lobster Cop. Ugh. <laughs> oh, no. There's no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. Needs crime scene map, criminal, t criminal tool, key, meal, notes. Hey, it's Lobster Cop, number one best detective. I am very jealous. So tall. He's tall. And annoying. Very annoying. All right, let's uh, let's explore the town. Looky loo. <clears throat> if you're here from Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I am not interested in joining. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try! I know Sidey's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah, where are your credentials? Uh, well, I am a detective and a frog and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everyone knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. Froggy looking boy. <laughs> but just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone who's regularly messed with, and there are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little boys. No, oh, naughty little guys? Oh my god. They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure it's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everyone's mail? Not so public, you ask me. <laughs> Craig causes his own trouble. He causes his own problems. Open your eyes. I know the society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they are quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of any societies, but that's only half true. <clears throat> oh? The Ghost Waters League is really exclusive, and they kind of bummed, and I'm kind of bummed they never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, 
that might be the problem. To be inducted to the league, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I keep telling you all of this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a complete... Someone's like this guy, I'll give you that. <laughs> Do you know how much about ghosts? Well, I saw the mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have said this both this time and just said no. <laughs> Sorry, no, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everyone always wants, wants information about me. Everyone always wants information from me. <clears throat> how close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to answer it? How, how am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost spotting, spotting story or a tangible proof of a ghost like a photo. <clears throat> Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are of just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They are so strict that I get my application denied three times I'm banned from ever applying again. It's, I'm on my second strike! What did you send in the first two times? Uh, I faked the first two settings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They are so clever, they figured out it was me right away, and that's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if, I, if you can tell which of the photos have ghosts in them? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want part of the society. <clears throat> I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats? Eh, not that I'm aware of. But that's a thing, detective. These sites run deep. I've barely scratched the surface when I, what, of what there, there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been. Anything you've ever done. It's all just, just de dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not. You'd think not. But it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? Haha, <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can juggle things like that, like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that's not true? None, I suppose. I, just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more of a lack of evidence that it's not being true. Oh, hi, Tony. Erica says Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi. Uh, blah, blah. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right, and you could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's Craig a Tim Robinson character. Craig a Tim Robinson character. Tim Robinson character. Okay, sure. Craig. Oh. Motive. Wanted membership to the secret hat stealing society needs definitive proof of a ghost. Notes. Either conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my detective disguise. Drat. Just wants to be part of something. Uh, can I talk to the... Oh, I can't talk to the wormies. I want to talk to the wormies, though. Look They're it so up. cute. They're so cute. They <clears throat> blink. They blink. So Craig. Craig. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I just can't agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rab Susie Rabbit. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? I... You're the best, thanks! I need you to help me break into this bank. Burr? I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to do any to the favor. Oh, so now you're taking the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I talk to her again? Excuse me, is that your rabbit? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm gonna end up breaking my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Well, it is Sussy Rabbit, Andrew. They just only spell it with one S. Like it's Susie, but Sussy. It's Sussy Rabbit. Why are you breaking in anyway? A bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have an ID, so I can't enter my vault. Oh, so you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. Uh, so... Oh, so you now want to help me? Typical. I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. Uh, I'm starting to get it. Uh, that's so annoying. There we go. I have a hat case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm. <coughs> I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found this morning right after the hats were stolen. I had a it had a big letter on the top of that says crime map eat after reading i didn't eat it obviously that's good to hear maybe there's another way to get into your vault mind if i ask you some questions so let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault Ooh, sure what about we kick the bank teller what absolutely not i'm joking obviously were you no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new idea. Uh, we'll find your ID. I'm going to mess with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah, but there's still a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose um, not. Great, so it's settled. So give me a fake ID. What? No. Suit yourself. <laughs> Theoretically, if I were to help. Yes! Thank you, detective. I'll be right... I'll wait right here. Okay. What if I ask you some questions? What about that vital piece of about that vital piece of evidence, the map? What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, graveyard I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive, and you'd be looking forever without someone to guide you to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted. That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, you can if you can help get me into my vault, it's all yours. That sounds like a good deal. I'll do my best. Mind if I ask you some questions? No more questions. <clears throat> Sussy. <laughs> Motive. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Needs fake ID. Yikes. <laughs> Notes, short stature, shorter temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be a hole in the back or something. Right, that'd be nice. Just waltz on in. Waltz on in. Bug! Big bug. Hello. <laughs> Get the tumbleweed. Aw, snake. Oh, Mr. Snake, you have silly eyes. Uh, 
Oh, it's the sheriff again. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, boy. This is a whole, a whole vibe. Yep. <clears throat> Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. It's you, Roy Simmons. Oh, wow. How's your new position here? What? <laughs> the job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So how did you meet Lobster Cop? It's cool. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. <laughs> Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. You must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. I helped out who? With what? Not important. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> there I go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. I guess I'm not asking him questions. Mason Mole. <laughs> Motive. I wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow of few words. Previous job. Helped out. I wonder what's behind this curtain. It's everyone in town, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There you go. Ooh, these could come in handy. Haha, -ha, get it? Handy? Gloves? Excuse me. <laughs> yes, Sheriff? That was her evidence. <laughs> evidence of what? <laughs> Crime. <laughs> oh, I'll leave them here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Take them. <laughs> Aren't they evidence? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> cool! Got gloves. <laughs> Gloves now. <laughs> Awkward. I feel so nosy talking to him. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's the good store. Hmm. Ah, oh, I used to have a hat. A lot of hats. A lot of former hats in this store. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh? Um. Uh. uh Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, we have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need an like, item that's in stock? We brought a special orders with larger costs for the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have to be arranged in two day turnaround. That's great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies. Such as? We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls in our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees the right of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If you are feeling towards the product does not fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears that up. Thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted on the Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, <laughs> really. <laughs> to be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you said it in the first place. It feels like I spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. It's a bit embarrassing for me, like... 
Maybe in the future, just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha! You, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only learned the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? So you just started running the shop? How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but honestly, it doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's not good. The shop has been by my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see the portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every chef owner in my family has a beautiful portrait created for them, except for me. Mine's just a silly photo. I like it. It's actually quite nice. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me? Haha, <laughs> I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Haha, <laughs> okay, kind of weird. What's weird? I'm just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find, find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Got a photo. Photo. Can I ask you some questions? Bear pick. Bear pick. Wendy. Oh. Motive. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime. Needs her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the biz, rehearsal, informal, yet professional warm. I'm now carrying a f around a photo of her, and nobody thinks that's weird. Especially not me. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? No. Then you cannot buy these carrots. That's my voice. It's Scoozy. Sorry. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Got ahead of yourself with those carrots. Ah, great. I can use this to orient myself if I get lost in this needlessly large town. <laughs> Got a town map. There we go. Oh, boy. So many scooters. Lana, I meant... They come from far and wide to face off with the power of Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Ready, your weapon frog. It's time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I am not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You can't just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own this scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everyone knows this. Where have you been? Do you live near a rock frog? I thought a lily pad would be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100, 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. What? Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Good advice. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? Uh, <laughs> you have a great point. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the detective does not have a great point. Do not give your full address to stra out to strangers unless you have a super cool, like a, you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are you really going to know where you live in a mansion? Uh, okay, even then, you should show them a photo. Don't give them your address. It's your plan. I'll leave it to you. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. 
Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm joining Hugs and Company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of, of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together to make him trip up. Tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was mean to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some rando. His name is Mason Mull. I'm sure a lobster cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with the with class and style. And I love to help others. Aww. Aww. I got a problem with needs solving. I'm your gal. And I'm tough. No one's gonna mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a good idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force! I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ron and Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. <laughs> <laughs> Get that on a shirt. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. I don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like, I listed my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm, I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies. Just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? What kind of work do you do? Uh, well, detective... I'd love to tell you, but I need to know that I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, you sound intense. It's most a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things, import documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Rhonda Dynamite. <coughs> <laughs> motive. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch though. He needs to write a resume and learn some non-violent conflict <laughs> resolution <laughs> skills. Notes. Wants to fight me. No, wait. She wants to fight everybody. Knows my full address. Dreams of being a sheriff. Apparently Andrew wants a hot anime take. Do you have any hot anime takes? Huh. Hot anime takes. Honey, do you have any hot anime takes? Not really. My anime takes are pretty pretty widely agreed upon. Mm, let me think of one that's spicy. How you play with no hands? He's just that talented, baby. Hmm, I like it. Pistol. Well, if it isn't Frog of the Hour. Maybe the Frog of one and a half hours and for being generous. 45 minutes and you're speedy. Haha, <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, Detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I sent you several emails asking to illustrate your... Illustrate your Frog... Frog blog? Frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol! That's me. 
finest artists of the all the Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money? Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, Detective. Simply save up and I will be able, to, and you will be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an, uh, well, you see, it's clearly, uh, who am I kidding, Detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner of cyberspace and took it to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic meme of War Moon's buff. <laughs> <laughs> you were right to click it. <laughs> when I loaded, it was a scary thing of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise in the screen and just said, You just got a curse from you from this website. <laughs> Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? <laughs> I, I don't think so. The food was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any speci specifics about the curse? No. Well, <laughs> how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours, and I have from my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find I find one, and today I haven't seen any that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what more there's to say. I want to see if you have a buff worm, and it was and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on the banner and said that I was the 1,000th visitor and I won 100,000 money. What? Really? Yeah. You know the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax. How am I going to get them my prize money? That seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I won 100,000 money. It's already in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes! I bought this new outfit with my monthly winnings. Wow, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine! I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan! Mm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead! You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one! Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. It's... I think it's the end of my pinning career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me? I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Aww. Hmm. Can you find me a photograph of something compelling to draw? I'd be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. Well, putting on a hat. No comment. Your head is a weird shape. I know this. <laughs> I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, Detective. I wish you the best of luck. Mm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see it? Here you go. Uh, wow! This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I ever said that. <laughs> I was. I am really brave. It doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely, stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Beep, 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 beep. And voila! 
Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, it was just a woman for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. Pistol. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint? Needs. A muse and some internet safety lessons. Internet safety lessons! Notes. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. Do not give bank information to anyone who asks for it. It's true, don't do, do not. that. Bonnie, afternoon detective, what can I get ya? <clears throat> oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about hats? It must look like a heck of a suspect. Why's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them out of jealousy and cooked them up in my stew. Ha! Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet! <laughs> oh! Everyone come get your hats too, haha! <laughs> I'm just playing your leg detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> I'm literally joking! <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, ha ha ha. Now you're getting a handful of jokes. Yeah. I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you didn't wear a hat. Why not? My head's a weird shape. Ah! <laughs> I'm literally joking! My head's completely normal! Ah ha ha! Mine too. I just don't like to the hat, way hats look on my dress. I... With your dress? Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? I'm not a suspect. Such a thing. LOL! Okay, LOL. Hey, detective! Huh? Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County! I know it all! Why are we yelling? It's a joke! L O L! Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but I, it was just a joke! Okay. Anyways, I was saying, my job isn't he, here isn't to run, a, uh, run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. My hilarious nature, I keep the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is is gravely haunted. Ha <laughs> ha, grave. Ha <laughs> ha, gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted, graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photos from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL, I just got a gr I just got the gravely thing. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Haha, <laughs> legend has it that it's haunted. But I don't know if I believe it. But you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Can I ask you some questions about this case? You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not gross. But I am making stew though. It's the only way I can think of to get regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got scared off. Ah, uh, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no, you're right. I'm just changing the vibe. They hang out all day, creating things and finding themselves. I just with the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. That's art. Right. That's art. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right! Get them to stop talking and so, taking them so seriously. So your solution is stew? Hat stew! Burr? I'm joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. 
It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for, for it around here. Lure them in with the stew, keep them here at the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. But I don't have the beans though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Got some money. Oh, oh, and around these parts, there's actually really delicious edible cactus flowers. Can you collect four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you some as much too as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Carrots, money. Bonnie. Motive. A practical joke, perhaps. Needs. Cacti carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking! Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some kind. Keen Cowboy County historian. Hates creativity. Let us never be creative again. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's... Or maybe she's mourning. Do you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Uh, yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones for residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. Rude. What? That didn't come out right. L O L. That's my ex husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that with my ex husband. He's actually, I actually don't know who that is, but I, I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. It's not haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's all snappy fresh. He was, he was one of the original gold miners here in the town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. Snappy Fresh. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. That's the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it. This rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on. Give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's very, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah. This guy was a sheriff for about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. So, not haunted. Nope, sorry. All good. Yeah, this one's not haunted. I think we might be SOL. Is this a ghost? <laughs> I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Fun though! And they're still alive? I'm sure, I sure hope so. Thanks.
Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to them, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might be, might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'm glad you're rid of it. You got a haunted photo. You got a haunted photo. Ghost pick. Ghost pick. It's like if someone shaved Kim Kitsuragi. You're rude. Am I wrong, though? You're rude. I see. Up the stairs, I see you're gonna break in and enter and be an E. Oh, oh B and E. There's just a dude up here, see? That guy's weird. He's a koala, of course he's weird. He's gonna die because his teeth are gonna fall out and he can't eat eucalyptus leaves. Stop anymore. it! Dusty, I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. What? But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. <laughs> answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? <laughs> Why do I change the solar power bobblehead? How do I change the world? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how we find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for some protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun propose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Being crispy, is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I'm just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Ha ha. Ha ha. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm dusty. I'm a not lost slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I am no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Mmm. Okay. Ahem. A cowboy's life is just so much fun. Sitting around in your, on your bum. Ride a scooter. Sing a tune. Say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. The smile shines brighter when waving at this lonely writer. I give a nod, a smile back to it. I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life's not for me. I want to write and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say it's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. There's a guy over there. I'll talk to him later. There's a guy over there. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. No one here really gets me, you know. Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. From his sack. Nice. I saw a cowboy 
eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, and then headed off. To get some more? I guess. Towards the store? I don't know. To get some more! He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. Just ahead, to his shock. <laughs> which one, baby? Oh, yeah, I know which one you want to choose. Yeah, which one? Which one would you choose? Ooh. What's your heart say? Cryptids. No. Cryptids. Cryptids? Yeah. A goblin? Goblin. A goblin? Goblin. 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 <laughs> What do you think? You choose. Alright, we'll go with Nessie in this game. There was a Nessie from the lock. Um, um okay, sure. But just the head there who is shocked. There was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over a concrete face, only to discover. A tumbleweed. A tumbleweed in its place. Ooh, plot twist. Okay, he waddled over a concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in his place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed! The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of the crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a little bit, a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I need, like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy off the old poems with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyways, take them. Well, his losses are gain, I guess. Essentially, yeah. Writing set. Writing set. Dusty. Motive. Wants to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat up most of the sneeds. Just someone to talk to, I think. Notes. Poet, icon, legend, friend, long slip the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. Not great at budgeting. He's uh he's that he's that one tweet about the family with the uh, the candles. What? You know that drill tweet like the, I'm trying to budget and it's because and the problem is that they're spending like six billion dollars a month on candles. I have do you not, not seen this I one? I have not. That's that's for later us. Well, I'll have to show you that one then. It's a very it's a classic bit of internet humor. But I'll show you later. Mind if I ask you questions about the case I'm working on? I have some writing supplies right here. Ooh, how'd you get them so quickly? I held to compose a beautiful poem. Uh, sounds boring. But thanks for getting me those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. Is there anything I can do for you? Let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be running on dynamite. That's true. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, and my friend the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Sussy. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope, I am not into other people's business. I'm getting ready for that. And I got ready for you in a jiffy. All right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Got a fake ID. Got a fake ID. Woo! Woo Left on the edge. Yeah. Learn 
learned some of that non-violent conflict resolution. She did not learn that. Oh. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Make sure you don't talk to him yet. The flower thing. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. Got a cactus flower. Ooh. One cactus flower. Sacks. Sure, I don't know him. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile. Those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. Maybe it's time to stop modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. I floored and I only see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. Romance in the air. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> what? Because your good looks. Burr? It's just a little joke. Not where your looks. You look great. I was like... You could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Haha, <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You stole them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time my killers have humor. You, oh, you. Was there Australian? The hats. Right, mine was stolen. Do you have any leads of who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in the mirror, haha. -ha. I'm just looking because I am an outlaw. Oh, haha. -ha. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came to the picture. My fellow outlaw Ron Dynamite was working up the courage to ask the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage at the time because this new guy, Mason Mole, uh, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh. Don't get me wrong, he's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be sheriff. Cowboy County always had has always be, has always been an out a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, though I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything. I just hope he keeps the cowboy the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's been said two words the whole time he's been here. I asked him he's shy, so I gave him the time to settle in. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? He's not like... It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman sure Wings. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust lots of the cops' judgment, but this new guy's so quiet and shady. Do you... Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. 
I heard there's gold in them. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask, is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yeah. But yes, I think sloths do like gold, but then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything was your complexion. Sherman's got it down bad, doesn't he? Sherman's like me. <laughs> but anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, I'm really dangerous. I was thinking more along those pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a, a shovel. I'll think about it. You might have to ask you some questions about the case. Sherman, get in line. I know. Motive. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Needs a pickaxe to break into the mine. Sherman, you make me blush. <gasps> so funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. Suspect. A suspect. You're under arrest for stealing my heart. Oh, boy. can't get down here without a ladder. I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and head and nostrils and fingers. Oh, I'll have to come back here with a ladder. Let's see what else do you have. I don't have a ladder yet. People, oh, there's something that lets you fall, yeah? Uh, we do. I just want you to explore in the town. Oh, okay. You can jump, right? I don't think I can. You're a frog. You can't jump. I don't know how to jump. That's rude. A little like scoot scoot, can't jump. Let's see, controls. I believe I, I can't I can't jump with my scooter, so I'll need to get a running start here. There we go. See? That should be enough flowers. Alright, we're uh, next to Bonnie, so we're sussy. Yeah, sussy rabbit. Sussy rabbit. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress the lobster cap. So here's your fake ID. Yeah! rules it looks so realistic i don't think it looks realistic at all but it should be enough to get you in okay i'll be right back it worked thanks detective i'll be sure to tell everyone i know how you helped me oh uh no that's okay you don't need to tell anyone hear ye hear ye the detective helped me break into the bank no no they should call you the burglar do not i do not want to be called that Fine, fine. Here, I got your map out for you. I got a crime map. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Crime map. Crime map. Crime map. I don't think we can look at the crime map. Well, I mean, we can, but it's just like... There it is. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's 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 uh, let's help this guy with his haunted poster, his haunted picture. So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Uh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. Can you, I can just tell. 
the edge of this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can tell only, I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. It's okay. Is it okay if I take this photocopy with, of this, this, yeah, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully there's enough proof for the ghost spotters waiting to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? Yeah, what do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? Is it a crime? No, well, I guess not, but usually when people give stuff to you, there's some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Got a pickaxe. You got a pickaxe. Can I ask you some questions? So you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep, Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Wow, it's great. Pistol's so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge, he was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. Uh, I'm sorry, what? It was a whole thing, don't worry about it. The painting's and curse, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding, I promise. If you say so, thanks. Got a ladder. Got a ladder. You just got a ladder. <clears throat> Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, you don't need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective. How do you manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew. Can I ask you some questions about this case? I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add my stew. I really wish you'd told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Haha, <laughs> did you? That's so funny. It is not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like second hand gloves? First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? It feels a little condescending. That's con what's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did! I suppose. Give me a sec, I'll finish this stew up and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to the lobster cop. Whatever, do whatever you want. Got some stew. I was thinking. It's like, yeah, that would have hurt. I don't like to think of like that would be very sad if that's what had happened. Oh my god!
Sick tricks. Ooh, wee, 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 wee. Whoa, sick tricks. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. I got a key. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. All right, let's talk to Sherman again. Whee! Erase the tumbleweeds later. I know they won't care because they're tumbleweeds, but it'll be I fun. care. <clears throat> Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for next dinner. Just you and I. Heh, <laughs> I'll take the shovel for now. For now. Offer is open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. Flirty. Oh, yeah. And he's so charming. How can we say no? I hope he didn't do it. Motive, boredom? No, I'm never bored. I hate crime. Needs to be number one. Notes, always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. confusing. Banana! Banana and cactus. Oh, that's great. I believe Lobster Cop is the only person we have to... No. And myself. Well, this other person you give stuff to. Oh. Look at your notes. I'll go back. Go back a bit. Okay, yeah, you maybe you right. Maybe there'll be a secret, secret, secret person. So, are you finished? Uh huh. Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Great initiative. Let's get take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of a graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding in criminal activity. Oh, a shovel, hmm? I think you could be right, detective. And a key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? Aim me up the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Huh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, Lobster Cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind you. I just have some quick business to attend to. <clears throat> I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. Yeah, that's just quick business. It's all yours. Enjoy. Well, here goes nothing. the map this is where the hats are hidden an odd crime if you ask me i wish i could figure out the motive of this crime it doesn't make any sense oh well i'll just dig these up and hope lobster cop has more information he's framing you me. you're being framed i hope not
Great, I found the hats. Sherpin will be relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. Sure, it's nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Got the lost hats. Uh-oh. I know. Oh, he's not there anymore. There's no music. Oh, no. Everyone's been gathered. There's no music. Ominous. That's not good. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Please read a poem. Hello. I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. He pulled full of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. Don't laugh! <laughs> but just ahead to his shop. There's a Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in his face. <laughs> don't hey, laugh. hey, don't laugh. Don't, don't laugh. <laughs> the cowboy smiled, shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Erupts in applause. Thank you for the palm. Next door of business. Crime solved. I am pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. Mm -hmm. I am pleased to announce that I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. <laughs> Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. <laughs> yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I am sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. Wait, what? I have been presented with a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! Ha <laughs> They drew my eyebrows on me! No, this is a mistake! I was digging up the hatch because I found their location! Why? Then why? Do you look so mischievous? I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! Exactly, yeah. I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, Detective, you have a big motive! A motive? What? You come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind. I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. 
Why else would you steal their hats and hide them where no one would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. <laughs> we haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? What? That's less an idea <laughs> and more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put fraud detective in the bad room for punishment of crime. No! An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct a bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Ooh, oh. Oh, well, in that case. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life! Oh <laughs> He's boy. Sad. He doesn't seem like not, not be like chipper, like. I know! He's not walking along in his cute boots. Bad room! Bad room! <laughs> oh. You've been framed. I've been framed. I've been framed a. Just want a girl to slippery pond. We're at the end of the game. I don't know, maybe. Let's see what happens. Corruption indeed. Oh my god, this is the end of the game. Can anyone hear me? Does anyone care? I really believed that life was fair. What? What? <laughs> Just wanna go home to sleep. Special apologies to the fans! fans. Optimus! <laughs> Kylie Minogue, Sherman. We don't have anyone else to credit, and there's still time left in the song. The following credits from Degrassi the Next Generation, Simpson 6, Episode 11. Oh! <laughs> Liberty Van Zant adds Lycos. We don't know, Andrew. We never played the game before. We can, could be. It's a fake out ending. Yeah, I, I, it's a fake out ending, and there are multiple endings. So you have to do something different. Or to like wait for another game. Is the is the is the is the is the Frog Detective trilogy about to become increasingly inaccurately named? Garbage man. Well, it feels like it must be a fake out ending because uh, actual people worked on this game. If there was the real credits, they'd be showing them. Not Degrassi Season 6, Episode 11. Oh my god. This poor frog is in jail. Oh, sorry. The bad room. The bad room. The bad room. I have a laptop at least. At least I can stream Degrassi.
our <laughs> royal frog vlog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bedroom. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say I am not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective X. Lucas. Who's reading my blog? Sherman. Mystery Monkey! This is terrible! I can't believe this! What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog post. Blog post. I was so excited to see how a frog tried to solve the mystery of the Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed. For a crime! Crime is real? <laughs> I must not jump to any conclusions here! Of course, I'm sorry. What do we do now, Mo? Um... Go back to our science work? We can't possibly calm down on scientific discoveries in the conditions. <laughs> I can't live without those conditions. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, I have to tell the detective. How are you going to do that? Uh, 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 I'll have to solve this myself. <gasps> Two player call mode. <gasps> New perspective. Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I prove the detective's innocence. Wow, Mr. Monkey is so cool. <laughs> he, yeah. Great. Love it. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. Game of the year. Squeaking in right under the deadline. A little later. Oh, frog blog. Frog blog. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How can I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator you? No. Inspector Iguana, the incredibly sandy mob P.I.? No, none of those. Uh, uh. I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective is around right now. I sent my top two investigators to help co help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal a town's hats. Well... There's a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no. What's the bad room? <laughs> it's something that the Sher uh, Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole. That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before. Just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. 
I saw his photo on the frog blog. I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey. I know it's a big ass, but you don't have to buy Snoop around and frog detective's office to look for clues. Be my guest. Oh, you gonna do some snooping. 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 Power walking against crime. <laughs> Monkey! I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. I want to snoop there. I think you really have to. You probably will. Clue detecting powder. How convenient! I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Got clue detecting powder. Oh. That's handy. Could lobster cop be hiding? Some secret drawer. Drawer. Photo copy of Frog Detective's notebook. A copy of the detective's notebook. <gasps> lobster cop and Mason Mole. A squiggly letter. A note. It reads. Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective on notice, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is right on, on the right track to overtake your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. Oh my god, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> so I've taken the detective's notebook inside are some great insights into how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it is time to enact the plan we came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Oh my god. <sighs> this can't be true. Lobster cop? The number one best detective? A fraud? <gasps> I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There's been a terrible amount of misjustice. So why do you have to lock your door? You gotta lock your door. You lock your door. <gasps> that was asleep except for the jail. It's you, Mr. Monkey. I don't have a scooter. No entry. Rodeo is the only place to go. Howdy, folks. Who brings you to Calvin County so late? This is our turf. You better not have a good. You better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're, we're here about a good friend, the frog, the frog detective. Ah, the duality of frogs. How can one be so kind, poetic, and thoughtful? Also, be a stealer of all of our hats. 
A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really distract frog detectives. That snake! I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw! So you live outside the law. Well, where there's no law, it makes it pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways. Frog detective is innocent! Yeah, sure. We all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, it's those worst ones do! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, you are mistaken. Mystery monkey fall found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me! You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Fraud Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Oh my god. Blog is a thing. Regardless, <laughs> you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake. A setup! I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mullen and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved Frog Detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would have done such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous of me. Someone very jealous? I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in the bad room, in the back of his sheriff's, sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you can be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. <laughs> Tuckered out after another day of being a man, me nasty liar. I won't wake him. <laughs> Mystery monk? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room, or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sure, Mason Mole is up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm so sorry to tell you this, that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with backing of the jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Who? You, Detective? It's not possible. It's time to ship your understanding of the world, Detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop Mason Mole once and for all. The sun's coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. What? You're a supervisor. You can't call a town meeting. Why well, he's a supervisor. He's supervising. Brrr. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give me, just please give your attention to, to Mr. Monkey for a, just a moment. Look at this flag. It's two of them. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, town, for meeting us on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mull, I have an important question to ask you. What? <laughs> How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to admit crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. No, I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. <laughs> Sheriff Mason Mole has been telling the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the Haunted Isle. As the lead scientist on the island of the time, I can confirm that I had several board sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs a shop over Morlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never... 
Oh, but you did! Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not. I... Uh... Ha ha ha! This is all a mistake. <laughs> no, Mason Mole! It's time to come clean! Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I've felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving. I will read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been the number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the student lies at hand to dissolve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself, and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I've become so focused on my own shortcomings that my work has suffered. Mason Mo was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were bad, a bad influence on each other. I needed work, so I suggested a lobster cop that I'd help take you down, and I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking for you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frank the detective? It was a giant effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I'd find the map! Sussy did! I didn't execute him very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a... I was eating the lid of the meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. Oh my god. But why? what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Drink me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for you to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone in a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting there and trapped? I really hate that room! <laughs> bad room was my idea, I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now, my bad. Lobster cop, Mason Mole. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have the strategies in place to deal with something with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be some consequences. Lobster cop, you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enable and encourage this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think it's appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cup from the detective agency. I think you should change your career paths for your own good. Maybe something better that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer a cab. Okay. <laughs> a cab. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate, I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, we pen that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Ooh! I joined too. I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mo. <laughs> do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Say, now that it's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, 
I'm really pleased to announce a new number one best detective. Congratulations to Mystery Monkey! Oh! <laughs> Wow, congratulations. Wait, see, wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and lobster posty. Posty, messy mole. Yeah. You're invited too. He's so generous. He's so generous. Loading. He's got his pep in his step again. Yeah, he's in the bad room. Yep, a cab for a little lobster car. Yeah. <laughs> Design the bad bits. Cowboy song. Design the good bits. Yes, but who animated the snakes? That's what I want to know. This is really good animation. It is. Also, it was Grace Buxner singing that song earlier. Yeah, that's what I thought. I made you and I can destroy you, Grace Buxner. So, uh, Rhonda Dynamite's the breakout character, surely, of course, yes? Of course, episode number three, I'll be. Two weeks later. Ooh. Another one for the wall. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective? Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday! Oh, it's Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. Cool people, Andrew. Who else is photographing sick dance parties? But you're the number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. <laughs> oh. Hey, detective. Look at all the... Oh, he just pasted his face on the lobster <laughs> cap. That's good. That's amazing. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1, Frog Detective 2, and now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hall and I'll meet you there. Will do. This is pain in his face! That's so weird. Even got, even got a black and white one. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'll say. Surprise! Surprise! Burr? Wow, what's everyone doing here? Little detective. <gasps> Larry! You are great. Little detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, I can't never been so peaceful. All thanks to you. Hey, man, I haven't heard a ghost in ages. 
I mean, definitely you never heard of ghosts. We've heard of your birthday, so they arranged to come here and surprise you. It, it worked! worked! That's all, detective. We got you a present. Should be coming in any minute. Oh, yeah, it's you. I ordered on Whizbay. Special for the delivery! No hat. No hat. Is that for me? Open it up! Oh! <gasps> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, wait. wait, what is this? It's easy, Detective. It's a hat! I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you try it on? Well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. Oh, he's crying. Oh. Buddy. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. Smiley face. We have loved making these games for you. And we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Kissy's perfect. <sighs> Give me the decade. Give me the century. Jam. Jam. Our latest test science discovery. Jam. Jam. Love my own mustard monkey. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. See you soon, love from Bonnie Craig and Sissy. Toothpaste. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Face for Teeth TF XO Fresh X. Family reunion. So much wool was shed. Gross. For Moodle and Barney. <gasps> what <gasps> I Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. XO Sherman. <clears throat> so handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's a very cool and secret. Eat after reading, Bernie. <laughs> I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. Wrote Rhonda Dynamite. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best, Ralph. We are not the same guy. <laughs> Larry and Lobster Festy. Well, of course, only one has an unnerving smile. Yeah. My first day of cowboy school. X Dusty. Mm -hmm. Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks, Mason Mole. <laughs> He's attached himself to a boat. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, Koala. Koala. <laughs> There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue ocean orbit. This is gonna slide. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third. Finley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary XO. As we all should, Andrew. I broke my leg. Sent for my phone. Naughty. No, naughty. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. Finally met my hero lobster. I mean lobster posty. Much love, Susan. Aww. I like that. Give me the guy. Give me the guy. Sorry, if you're at Fire Detective Game. This one's pretty good. I uh know, -huh, they're all really good. The end. They're all very good. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Wow. 
Good times. Good times. Thank you for joining us, everybody. That was Frog Detective 3. Yes. Happy Winter Solstice. Yeah, Happy Winter Solstice. It's the longest day of the... It's the shortest it's day of the year, year tomorrow, and then it'll stop being so goddamn dark. It will be a little... We're getting back to normal. 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 <sighs> Soon. Soon enough. Thank you all for joining us. I, I don't know what I planned for next week, but uh, I have a week to think about we that. We have a week to think about it. It'll be the day after Chris. It'll be two days after Christmas. I will be. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. All right. Well, we will see you next Tuesday. And until then, you have a good rest of your evening and you have a good weekend. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.